Right, hello friends. It's Phil and this is cut two. We're now at 21 mil on the heater. And if we look close, can you see that we've got much more of a kind of a, much more evidence of that newer, finer rye grass. The grass that comes from Barenberg Extreme. But the grass density, to make it feel more smooth and velvety, let's say, because the good thing about Barenberg is the finer perennials can give you a really fine cut. You have to go a little bit closer just to get the sort of the leaf density, get the leaf density together, get it to pull together sort of thing. So if I wave my hand in there, there still feels like there's a few, it's probably, yeah, there's a, there's a good, good seven to 10 mil that could come off of that, which would come down, which would then really show the grass density of all the plants marrying together. So if you see that section there, there's a load of grass density there, but you can't quite see it because of the, the longer stuff. So, looks all right, let's see. Cutting at 21 mil. The lawn is not very flat, for reference, even though I'm filling in holes and shallows as I go, because it was a builder's lawn. It was put in just at the end of a job. And uh, yeah, I've been rebuilding it and seeding it and leveling it gradually. So that's now 21 mil. I'm gonna take it down to 14 and I can tell you what's gonna happen. I'm gonna be scalping certain sections of the lawn where the crowns are and where the shadows are, it's probably gonna look really smooth, really smooth. So one last look at the grass density. And it's pretty healthy grass. If I'd like to say that there's a little bit of power in it, which you can see. For now, I'm not too worried about that. And I think I last gave it a feed about two weeks ago with a slow release fertilizer. Anyway, that's, um, that's that part. So come back or don't go and we'll do the last part, the last cut, and then you can see what that looks like. The last cut is coming up in a few seconds.